What's up guys, Steve here with another stimulus package update and it looks like we're going to be getting a stimulus package here within the next seven days. As you guys know, yesterday and the day before, I let you know of the good news that the Democrats are now going to be supporting that $908 billion stimulus package alongside President Trump and Mitch McConnell has been having negotiations with Nancy Pelosi and it looks like we're going to have something here very soon. So I'm going to get you guys caught up onto the latest of all the news reports and everything that's been happening. But before we dive in, a historic moment for this channel. I cannot believe it. I'm going to be doing a live interview right now and I'm going to be asking the questions that you guys want to know with Nancy Pelosi. Let's dive in. Speaker Pelosi. Thank you for coming on my channel today, but was it a mistake not accepting the one point eight? Don't characterize what we did before as a mistake, as a preface to your question, okay, if I, you want an answer. Well, I do want, I, that was not a mistake, it was a decision, and it has taken us to a place where we can do the right thing without other, shall we say, considerations in the legislation that we don't okay, want. Okay, but I just now, wanted to... No, that is I, it. Now, th the fact is, I'm very proud of where we are. My chairs, my chairs have worked very hard on all of this. They were All right, guys, I got a confession to make. That was not actually live. I know, you can't believe it. I'm a trickster. I gotcha. But that was actually an interview that took place earlier today with Nancy Pelosi regarding the stimulus and the funding bill. Now, we're going to be taking a look at that as she discusses them. And as you can see, she got a little riled up. Some of the interviewers got to her. So we're going to take a look at that video clip. We're also going to dive into the news reports that have been coming out today. But before we do, if you could do me a quick favor, if you like and appreciate these video updates, keeping you up to date on what's unfolding, be sure to smash the like button. It helps out the channel. I would appreciate it. Like button, leaving comments, and sharing these videos out to anybody who you think might need to see them. It helps out the channel. Thank you so much. And also be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. So that way, as soon as I upload these videos, you can get notified right away. And if you don't already, be sure to follow me on Instagram as well at SteveRam3. But now let's go ahead and dive in and take a look at this interview that took place earlier today. Have to accept half of a loaf months ago when you said I'm not going to accept half a loaf. No, I'm going to tell you something. Now, don't, don't characterize what we did before as a mistake, as a preface to your question, if you want an answer. That was not a mistake, it was a decision, and it has taken us to a place where we can do the right thing without other, shall we say, considerations in the legislation that we don't want. Now, that is it. Now, th the fact is, I'm very proud of where we are. My chairs, my chairs have worked very hard on all of this. They were not even happy with a, a proposal that we made the other day before we saw this proposal. They thought we had come back too, too small. So it's not about an individual, it's about how we address the needs of the American people. And we have to do it in a scientific way, and we have to do it in a way that recognizes people need food on the table. They need to get their rent paid. They need money in their pockets. They need their unemployment insurance to be there. They do not need a whole cacophony of other things that are on the agenda that have nothing to do with meeting their needs. So we're very pleased at where it is. And as I say, with a Democratic president committed to a scientific solution for this, with the idea that we will have a vaccine it's a complete game changer. All right, you guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I know in yesterday's video, a lot of people vocalized that they felt the only reason that Nancy Pelosi had come down so significantly on her overall price now for the stimulus was because before she was holding out to kind of sabotage Trump and the ch his chances in the elections, and now that they've already passed and the damage has been done, she's willing to negotiate more so. However, here we hear her saying that the only reason is because she is desperate to get out help to the American people. And she said it's not even everything that she wants, but they just want to get something out at this time. Let me know, do you believe this or do you think that she had ulterior motives? But let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other responses that she had to some of the questions. Well, just to be clear, you said no continuing resolution. I don't want any help. Right, I understand that, but if, if you are on the precipice of getting a coronavirus D, you know, and you can't, if you oh, are on the precipice... Oh, we'll be long before that. Oh, oh, okay, but, yeah. but what shifted in your opinion when the Problem Solvers Caucus had a much larger bill a few months ago, you did not like that piece of yeah. legislation? What, what, is what, what has shifted now when they're on board with this piece that's come out of the stuff? Perhaps you missed what I said earlier. Joe Biden 
committed to ending and crushing the virus and having a Build a Better America uh, initiative, Big Back Better, a vaccine answered to our prayers, an answer to our prayers of 95% effectiveness in terms of Pfizer and Moderna, and there may be others uh, coming forward. Now that makes, that is a total game changer, a new president and a vaccine. So th there's nothing to, th these are different. What, what was then before was not more of this. This is, has simplicity. It's what we've had in our bills. It's for a shorter period of time, but that's okay now because we have a new president, a president who recognizes that we need to depend on science to stop the virus. All right, guys, so here we see Nancy Pelosi saying that she was willing to accept a much smaller stimulus package overall price tag because things have changed drastically. And she said that the new things are we're going to be having a new president and we're going to be having a new vaccine coming out. And she said that changes everything. And I'm going to be diving into an article here after we do one more clip of her responding to questions. And the article is going to be discussing what's going to be happening moving forward, what Biden and Pelosi's plans would be uh, as they enter into 2021. But first, let's take a look at this one last question. Yes, sir. I just want to get a clarification as it relates to your conversations with, with uh, Leader McConnell. Yes. So is this now a situation where we're expecting a, an omnibus and any sort of coronavirus relief to be meshed into one piece of legislation? That would be Maybe our hope. Vote? That would be our hope because that is the vehicle leading, leaving the station. And that's probably, uh, I was pleased that he wanted to, to do it that way because that's how we have, I thought would, that's what we thought would be the best way to do. The vehicles leaving the station. All, in other words, you see a bill come to the floor, you don't see the whole underpinnings and the orchestration of what it takes to get to a place. So if there's a vehicle and we can add uh, this language once we see the text, uh, that is what we would be doing. Well, there you guys have it. That was the interview that took place today. And those were the responses to the questions that Nancy Pelosi had. And you heard her say that she's making progress with Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, which is awesome because now we have bipartisan support. We have Democratic support. We have the president's support. And now she is discussing it over with Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. As a matter of fact, the link in the description below to this article that just came out today that reads, Pelosi sees momentum towards a stimulus deal as job growth slows. And the article reads, Pelosi spoke to Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell on Thursday for the first time in at least a month. The conversation boosted hopes about an agreement on Capitol Hill to lift an economy and health care system damaged by the pandemic. The California Democrats said that she and the Kentucky Republican agreed they want to attach aid measures to a must-pass government funding bill. If they can resolve outstanding issues with that legislation, lawmakers need to pass a spending plan by December 11th to prevent a government shutdown. The tone of our conversation is one that is indicative of the decision to get a job done, Pelosi told reporters on Capitol Hill. Now listen to this. Meanwhile, Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer said in a statement that this latest jobs report shows the need for strong, urgent emergency relief is more important than ever. Senate Republicans are increasingly understanding this urgency, and Leader McConnell should hear their pleas as well as those of the millions of struggling Americans and families. This jobs report is blaring warning that a double dip recession is looming and must be a wake up call for anyone who is standing in the way of true bipartisan emergency relief. After his conversation with Pelosi on Thursday, McConnell told reporters that the leaders are, quote, both interested in getting an outcome both on the omnibus and on the pandemic package. So we are hearing all around that, you guys, this looks like it's going to be happening, and I'm going to be sure to keep you guys up to date as more unfolds. Now, it doesn't stop there. The article further reads that President-elect Joe Biden has endorsed this bipartisan framework, calling it a good start. So this is just the beginning. And it says Pelosi said she agrees with his assessment. She noted that it's not everything that we want, and Democrats will likely push for more aid when Biden takes office in January 20 of 2021. So... They're saying that this is just the beginning and that there is more to come. And another article reads, Biden endorses the $908 billion relief plan as a down payment. So this is just a small portion of what's to come. Another article reads, Biden readies major stimulus push and a flurry of executive actions in his first 100 days. And as we jump into the article, it says, 
Biden's agenda for his first 100 days in office, according to both those close to him and outside groups in contact with his top aides, center of two key avenues of action. The first, the passage of a broad economic aid package, and second, where legislation is not necessary, a series of executive actions aimed at advancing his priorities, containing the pandemic, launching an economic recovery, and tackling racial inequality are his most urgent priority, transition officials say. So you guys, it's looking like a lot of stimulus is gonna be on the way. And so for those of you that are saying, well, this new package does not include stimulus checks and we could use a whole lot more unemployment in there and there's not enough stuff for the people. Well, it looks like that potentially could get added in still. And if not, they're talking about another round of stimulus coming next year as well. So we're gonna be keeping an eye on that. And like I said, as more information rolls out, I'll be sure to keep you guys up to date. And if any new interviews pop up here live on the channel, I'll be sure to let you know as well. And once again, if you guys like and appreciate these video updates and you haven't already, be sure to smash the like button. It helps out the channel. Thank you so much. And if you'd like to stay up to date on everything rolling out, be sure to smash the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that way as soon as I upload, you can be notified right away. And if you haven't already, be sure to follow me on Instagram as well at steveram3. Well, you guys, I hope this reaches you well. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.